Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For the second time today, I am over on the Brutus Monroe blog making this card. So I'm going to use a lot of great little products. This one is the Sweater Weather paper pad from Brutus Monroe. This is the Llama Friends stamp set, not your traditional Christmas stamp, but I am going to use it in a non-traditional way. And then I'm also going to pull in a couple of elements from this set called Gingerbread Village. So I'm going to bring in the holly and then I'm going to mess with the sentiments just a little bit. I'm going to use my detail ink, my Raven detail ink, a water brush along with some Arteza watercolor pencils. So let's go ahead and get started with what we're making. I have a piece of cardstock that I have trimmed down and I, to fit perfectly with about three llamas. And this is going to fit across the front of an A2 size card. And so I've picked out three llamas and I've kind of you know, uh, set them across the front to see how they would fit best because I want them to look like they're marching across the paper. And then I am going to close the door of my Misty for each one. And then I'll ink that up with that Raven Detail ink. The Raven Detail ink is great because it is good for alcohol markers and it's also waterproof so you can use it with any sort of water medium. And so that's what I've chosen to do today. And for my last llama, we'll just go ahead and stick him in there. He is uh, stained, but that's because I used a different kind of ink on him. So there's nothing wrong with the stamp. He stamps fine. He's just a little stained and that never really bothers me. Now I'm going to trim down some of that sweater weather paper to fit across the front of an A2 size card. So I cut that to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And now I'm moving on to using the watercolor pencils. I am being kind of sparing with the watercolor pencils. Typically the best way to color with these is to not be very sparing. You would want to color up the whole image because you're going to have a hard time dragging that color all the way across. But I did want these llamas to have uh, some white to them. I didn't want them to be completely colored in uh, because the colors that I'm using, I mean, they're not up on the screen. I didn't even write them down which ones I used. But so I've colored all of them with that, like a yellow color. And I'm coming in with a brown just for some shadowing in some different various areas. And like I said, I wanted there to be some white spots because I figured these llamas with all that fluff are going to have a lot of variation in their color of their coat. And so then I'll come again with a water brush. This time I tried to use my um, Spectrum Noir sparkle pen to see if I could move that. And then I thought, well, I'd, rather than do that, I will use my water pencil or water pen to just move it across the uh, paper. And then later on, I will go over the top of it with my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. Now I didn't mention it earlier, but the paper that I am using is some Arteza Expert watercolor paper. So that's what makes this easy to move across the paper. I don't think you'd want to try regular cardstock. I think that would just pill the paper if you tried to do that with a water brush. And then I'm just going to color in their little hooves. This is a fairly detailed small image, so you're not going to need to go in with a lot of, um, you know, like two color blends even. That, that would be difficult. So in some of these areas, I'm just using like one red and one green and then you know just to make these look like they're little Christmas llamas I know that the set wasn't intended for that but that's kind of one of the fun things you can do with your sets is go through and take a look at what you have and see if you can use them for non-traditional ways and that's what I did with these llamas because I thought oh you know you see Christmas llamas how fun would it be to make a Christmas llama card and no there wasn't a sentiment that went with it but I and I didn't just want to use the happy holidays although I do use it on the inside of the card. Uh, I thought it would be fun, and you'll see later when I stamp out the sentiment, how I combined two sentiments to make it more Christmassy. All right, so in between, I am cleaning off my brush so that I don't have any transfer of the color. So I cleaned, off, cleaned it off after the brown, cleaned it off after the red, and then just finished that. And now this is where I'll go over it with my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And then I'll show you, it is pretty sparkly. You'll see it, you, you could see it more in real life, not so much on camera, but I'll try and show you here. So yeah, they definitely have some sparkle. I do go back in because I don't want them to look like they're floating and I take that same brown that I had used earlier and just add a little bit of ground and then take my water brush and blend that out so it's a little bit more smooth and not so pencil-y, if you know what I'm saying. And then they'll be ready to put across the front of the card. But before I do that, here's where I'm going to work on my sentiment. I really wanted to use that glama wrist. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp that out onto that same watercolor paper. Not that it would matter, but I wanted things to be cohesive. So I'm stamping that twice using my Raven Detail ink. 
and then I'll clean off that stamp and put it away and then I'm gonna grab the winter wishes from that gingerbread village and I put it right where I want the wishes to be and then I'm gonna take a piece of post-it tape and I'll cover over winter sorry for my head that's gonna happen a few times and then it's gonna go out of focus but then I'll ink up wishes pull off the post-it tape and then stamp down wishes so it's gonna say glomerous wishes I just thought that would be kind of a fun little sentiment for Christmas. And then one more time I'll do that, stamp it down, and then we'll pull that out and we'll trim it down with our water or with our paper trimmer. I did do a little bit more watercoloring. I stamped out the two holly berries and then just colored those off screen. My card base is some Not Your Mama's heavyweight card stock that I'd cut to four and a quarter by eleven inches and scored at five and a half to make a top folding A2 size card. I'll use the Brutus Monroe craft glue all over the back of my sweater weather paper and then we'll put that down onto the front of my card base and it, I just love all the colors in that and I've said it before every time I see sweater weather or say it I actually want to say it like sweater weather <laughs> I said that once before well the last time I used this paper all right, I am covering my llama panel with some, the back of it, with some Brutus Monroe foam tape. This stuff is really sticky. I really like it for that. And this is the 16th inch, 1 16th inch. So this way it'll give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to cover the back of my sentiment with it as well. And then I will peel off the backing paper using a paper piercer. People have talked about how difficult it is to get the paper off. And I've mentioned it many times. Um, but using a paper piercer and just sticking it under there, I don't have any issues. And then I love that the sweater weather is all lined up so it makes putting down my panel super easy. Everything is pretty well straight on there and if I just follow the lines, I can make it straight as well. Usually don't have that. And then I'll take my craft glue and I'll stick down my little berries, holly berries, around my glomerous wishes sentiment. This one's going to have a little bit of it sticking off, but that's okay because I will just peel it off or trim it off later. I inked up Happy Holidays from that Gingerbread Village stamp using some Distress Oxide in the color Pine Needles. And then I'll clean that off, put the stamp away, and then this is where I will trim off my excess pieces because everything is dry now. And once I have everything trimmed off, that's going to finish off our card. So it was fun to use a, a stamp that was non-traditional for Christmas, but use it in a Christmas way. So uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I am going to have some videos linked at the end. So if you're interested in checking any of those out and any of my stuff on social media, go, go head on over there and check those out. And as always, thanks for stopping by.